Majestic touch, yeah. Majestic touch, Nigerians here who I consider in a very bradley spirit. Uh, per se, I think I have quite a few of them tonight. And uh, you know, it's a blast for the past to see all of you here today. And I think that's terrific. You know, it's a wonderful endearment of the human spirit, which uh, we should celebrate, indeed. Uh, having said that, you know, I uh, before I move on to this glorious book, um, it's uh, I'm going to say something that's intertwined with the message of this book. Uh, this book basically is about uh, Sticking to a certain part and not resisting to temptation willy-nilly. Okay, um, you know it doesn't necessarily apply to Nigerians; it applies to all of us. Where in this world we are subjected to a lot of uh, things which are not necessarily right or savoury. Okay, and that's part of the world. But we have to be steadfast and attempt to resist some of those temptations which put us in the wrong path. 
right? But notwithstanding, uh, I believe, notwithstanding that uh, God's love, per se, is prevalent all over. And, uh, you know, especially in this book, um, better the, the gentleman concerned, uh, who, uh, who, who's the prime person in this book, uh, basically, uh, well, was of a very conservative background. He went wrong, apparently, along the way. But along the way, God was with him. And uh, he ended up, uh, at the end of it, with a glorious situation of uh, getting into the mainstream of right activity again, so to speak. So in that context, I would also like to uh, bring in the fact that um, I'm happy for this gathering because I've always maintained that, uh, you know, as much as uh, there's a perception of Nigeria and Nigerians on the bad side, notwithstanding, there's also the good side. There's, there's good and there's bad per se because even with people who perhaps engage with bad things, there was still a lot of humanity, a lot, a lot of love with them. It may be paradoxical, but I found that about Nigerians, okay? It's basically love, there's a lot of humanity, a lot of plus factors, but notwithstanding, gatherings like this, I believe, right, would actually attempt to rehabilitate, or rather to transform the bad impression that people have of Nigeria, right, rightly or wrongly. And in that context, I'm happy uh, when, you know, to have a chat with Professor Patrick just now, where he said that it's basically their vision and mission to rehabilitate the name of uh, Nigeria and Nigerians in Malaysia. Because, you no, know, there's the Malaysia, Nigeria, sorry, has nothing to impress about necessarily. It is intrinsically a great country, but notwithstanding, it's a question of bringing out that grand grandeur again, all right? Not just in Malaysia, right, but internationally as well. Okay, there are, I won't say bad apples in Australia, because I love a lot of the bad apples, so called bad apples. Because they're all my friends, you know, they have been my clients. I love all of them, I must tell you that. But notwithstanding, the issue in hand is that ostensibly, you know, in the real politic, in the real, in the world that we're living in, the conceptions have to be redressed, right? And I think, I hope that that function that was one month ago, which His Excellency was also gracefully present, basically are steps in the right direction, all right? And uh, Professor Patrick was telling me about certain things being done. Perhaps the other people also with agendas, uh, nice agendas to basically rehabilitate, to get uh, a betterment of the name of Malaysia. And I, with humility, would like to assist in that whole process all right, of doing so, right? Today we have uh, the author, King Evan, shining like a beacon of what Nigerians and Nigeria is all about, all right? He's produced a book, which is a wonderful book. Um, also, he's got a, a, a wonderful range of fragrances, right? And, uh, you know, he did stuff like this. He gets in the mainstream of Malaysian life, 